A very good morning to you. Well, brace yourselves for another wave of cold, snowy air come next weekend. In the meantime, typical weather for the time of year, something of a respite after such a cold start to the month. We have got those temperatures near a normal in the next few days. We've got a good deal of misty low cloud and fog out there this morning, giving quite murky grey conditions into a new day and a soggy start to the week as well. Outbreaks of rain out there, as you can see on the earlier satellite and radar picture, a good deal of wet weather across the bulk of England and Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland getting away with a drier start so far. We have got the best of any sunshine developing across the eastern side of Scotland through the course of the day. Uh, just a little rain tickling fringes of Northern Ireland, but much of the wet weather concentrated through England and Wales. Slow moving, intense downpours. I think you'll be brave to leave home without the brolly today. Look at this. The rain on and off through many locations, really quite solid, substantial weather. And we've got quite a lot of strong gusty winds as well, particularly across the north and the west, ensuring that some of that wet weather will be blown through at quite a pace. Temperatures not looking too bad on the face of things, around 11 or 12 degrees, a little chillier through parts of Scotland where it started off cold enough for a touch of ground frost. And as we head through the latter stages of the day, the rain is slowly fading and easing through many locations, but it will be a slower old process. And with the moisture left in the air, prime conditions for some misty low cloud and some fog overnight. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com slash weather. Lucy has an issue with a weather rain. word. With rain <laughs> in England, an English meteorologist can't pronounce rain. That is a problem. What's well, the weather forecast this morning, Lucy? <laughs> is it rain? Pouring. <laughs> it's soaking. <laughs> There's lots of other ways around it. <laughs> Hello to you. Very good morning. Well, are you ready for phase two of Beast from the East? Yes, you heard that correctly. We've got another wave of cold, snowy air come next weekend. In the meantime, the weather, what you'd expect for the time of year. Temperatures near a normal, but we have got an awful lot of low grey cloud out there this morning. Quite a misty grey start with a good deal of wet weather around as well. Look at this, a soaking to start the new day across the bulk of England and Wales. Heavy, persistent rain for some of us. A drier start across Scotland and through much of Northern Ireland. And here, a chillier start to the new day. Close to freezing through the glens of Scotland. And here, staying a little on the cool side throughout the course of the morning and the early afternoon at least. But here, the best of any sunshine, particularly to the west and the east of the high ground. Elsewhere, a good deal of thick low cloud. Look at that. Heavy, substantial rain for many of us all day. Quite blustery winds, ensuring that wet weather moves through at quite a pace for some of us. For others, it stays very soggy as the day wears on. A little milder, milder than weather a little earlier in the month, but that cold weather set to return a little later in the week. I'll see you soon. <laughs> for the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com slash weather. Hello again, a very good morning to you. Well, phase two of the beast from the east returns this weekend. Colder air incoming, temperatures dropping, turning increasingly snowy. You heard that correctly. In the meantime, well, temperatures nearer to what you'd expect for the time of year. Uh, mild for some of us to start the new day, but disappointingly misty and grey with a good deal of wet weather as we go into a new week. A very soggy start out there, as you can see on the earlier satellite and radar picture. The weather seriously letting most of us down this Monday morning. A solid substantial rain through the bulk of England and Wales. Quite heavy in places. Rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out through the south and the southeast before the end of the morning. And we'll see some steadier rain across northern England into parts of Wales as we head into the afternoon. Quite blustery winds whipping up through the southwest and Wales. So here, wet weather moves through at quite a pace. But all in all, pretty disappointing here. Temperatures at around about 11 or 12 degrees, so far from cold. At the opposite end of the country, clearer skies through parts of Scotland. Here, a drier, brighter sort of day, if a little nippy. And it's not until tomorrow most of us improve. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com slash weather. Um. Hello to you. A very good morning. Well, phase two of the beast from the east set to return come this weekend a wave of colder air will be flooding its way back in temperatures falling and an increased likelihood of snow in the meantime well it's business of, as usual if you could say that we've got an awful lot of gray sky to start the new day misty low cloud a little bit of fog here and there but really the main story this substantial steady rain across the bulk of england and wales a very soggy start to the new week a solid rain through much of the day across many northern spots uh, the rain moving at quite a pace through the southwest and quite blustery winds and intense downpours across 
Central and southeastern spots could well give rumbles of thunder before the afternoon is out. At the opposite end of the country, a much drier sort of day across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. The best of any brighter breaks across parts of northwestern Scotland, but here quite chilly. For the rest of us, a little milder, but we're going to have to wait until tomorrow before the brighter skies return. That cloud, that rain hanging around for a little while longer yet. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com slash weather.